Hello one and all, this is Luck of Sublox back with Kathy Rain, and we just discovered some more information about our grandfather. I just want to listen to that recording again, just to refresh our memories. Move tape. Combine? No, no combine. Rewind that. I like how this is an actual tape recorder. We have to rewind it. We can record too. You've reached the Rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, go right. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. I wonder if that's our mother. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. I, it happened to me too. Cocky. And a I'm weird name. not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. That's it. And then there was the photo. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. The newspaper clipping. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. And the key. It's a small key, fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. Well, let's see what... I, I'm hesitant to bring Grandma into the conversation, but... We need to find out as much as we can, so let's go talk to her about what we've discovered. Oops. Sorry, sometimes uh, I, I, the dialogue's a bit delayed, so I, I go to move and end up skipping the dialogue by accident. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Quite a few com uh, topics to talk to her about. Let's go with the Air Force Base. Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. I believe they're still training young pilots there today. So when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war, together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy, but he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops, until he passed. Yeah, this teen girl, I have no idea what the connection is. Do you know anything about a young girl drowning around here? Oh, yes. It was the saddest thing. She was only 16. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember the name of the girl or her family? I'm awfully sorry, dear. I, I just can't recall. That's okay, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. And Cocky? Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his uh, friends gave okay. one another. 
That's Joseph was vigilante. <laughs> I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Call sign. We can ask her about it, although it doesn't seem like she knows anything more about it. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Okay. I guess that's it. So well, Air Force go, Base. Rams. Talk to you later. A couple places we can go. Air Force Base seems like a good spot. And maybe back to the police station to find out about this drowned girl. So let's see what our options are. Get back on the road. We can't go to the Air Force Base. Guess we don't know where it is. Okay, let's go to the station and let's see if we can find out about this drowned girl. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Okay, we can ask him about anything we want. So he could he could probably tell us where the Air Force Base is. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Okay, maybe not. Hey, Lenny, do you remember anything about a girl drowning around here? Yeah, I remember my mom telling me about that. I was like six at the time, though. Do you remember her name? Oh, man, not really. I was so little. I think it was something with an L. Linda? Laura? Something like that. All right, I'll keep looking. I don't think he'll know about this. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, gotta go. See ya. What about the sheriff? Maybe he'll tell us about the Air Force base? He wasn't around back when the girl drowned, so he probably won't have any idea. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? Uh, if you must. Drowning girl, no. I don't need to ask him. Do you know anything about the drowning here in 1975? Sixteen-year-old girl? Let's see why he would know. You have a memory problem? I told you I haven't been working here that long. Besides, even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Juvenile cases are a sensitive matter. I don't need to... Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, the overexposed picture, too. That's all for now. Good what we could do with that there's probably some way to enhance this back at school I'll figure it out tomorrow when I'm back okay at school let me go in there again Lanny, I need you to do how can I help us maybe maybe he'll remember hey hi there Oh, okay. Okay, gotta he's, go. He's just there See for you. one purpose. Possible this key opens something? I try. I don't see how those things work together. Okay. Can think about it. I wonder what this unlocks. Seriously. Okay. We think about the photo. It'd be nice to go to that Air Force base. No. Action hey, machine. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? Okay, I don't think there's anything more to do here then. Back to the residence, I guess. Maybe we could show Grandma the uh, photo. Oh. Get it again. Um.
Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness, I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. Charles. That was in the tape, right? First person that called? What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Oh. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Hmm. Sounds like she's not entirely telling the truth. Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. Well, that's interesting. We can click on inventory things to ask her about it. I like that. Do you know anything about this story, Grandma? Not much, dear. It was the saddest thing. The girl was only 16 years old. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember their names? Hmm. Let me think. Okay, she knows, maybe. I'm awfully sorry, dear. Ah. I just can't recall. That's too bad. That's quite all right, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always deeply affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family to ease their pain. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Ah, what's she gonna say about this? She'll have no idea, but whatever. Let's Friends, try it. can you tell me anything about this picture? It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. Anything else? Uh, I don't think she wants to see our stun gun. <laughs> Brochure. What do you think about this church, Grandma? They seem harmless to me, but they can be a bit pushy at times. I noticed that. Huh, you could say that. Handing out pamphlets at funerals is in pretty bad taste. Awfully strange behavior for a priest, I'll give you that. He did seem really strange. Cigarettes, I don't think she wants to see that. What about the recording? I don't think we need to discuss that anymore since I've been able to open the briefcase. True. Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes, Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. He could be absent-minded at times. It helped him remember things. Oh, that's cool that we have his... his dictaphone. Okay, I'm gonna take the tape out. Well, and ask gotta her go, about Gramps. That. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. See if she can expand on uh, on the conversations in it. Move tape. I don't think we need to discuss that anymore. Okay. So what we could do is um, maybe find out more about Charles. Maybe he's in the phone book. Phone and phone book. I should be able to use this for looking up phone numbers of people or places in town. If he's still in town, should show up, right? Charles Wade. Damn, no Charles Wade in ah. here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. Cocky, no. McConnell Air Force Base, maybe? All right, got it. Ah, uh, cool. Give him a call, I guess. Girls away, cocky. That's not going to help. I don't think Drowned Teen Girl is worth looking up in the phone book. I don't think that's going to pop up. Let's try calling the Air Force Base. Oh, 
Seattle Air Force Base. How can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Charles. Maybe they know where he is now. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Tend to be a cop. Um, sure. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from <laughs> Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Way to go, Department. Kathy. There's no nice way. Try. You know what caller ID is? You can clearly see that you're not calling from the station. Goodbye. Damn, uh... I can't pull that off if I call from here. Oh, okay. I know what to do now. <laughs> okay, was there someone else I could call? The dorm room? I don't see any reason to do this, but let's try. I'm curious. I imagine no one's going to pick up. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Oh, Eileen. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? Uh, maybe she'd know... The drowned teen girl? I'm trying to track down this young girl who drowned in the lake here. Okay. How hard can a dead person be to track down? They tend to stay in one place, you know. Ha, huh, very funny, E. I don't even know her name, just when she died. Oh, well, there must be some way to connect a name to that date. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I could ask, but... I don't need to ask her about that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't place. need to ask... No? And the Charles Wade, oh, maybe she knows more about Charles Wade. I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know, the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh, must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah, I'm finding that out. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah. Could be worth a shot. Okay. Okay. I know. Gotta go. Now. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. So, if we call the Air Force Base from the police station, all of a sudden, gonna think we're legit. I guess. We'll find out. I wish Kathy would walk a little bit more briskly, maybe. I understand she's a lot cooler than most of us, but fax machine. Okay, I think we need to distract Lenny again, don't we? How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Well, let's uh, try. Okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Right. Hey, do you mind if I use this phone here? Sorry, that's not allowed. Oh no. Okay. Another distraction, guys. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to Hey. Hi there. How much is it gonna cost us this time? Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Oh, Good that's to great. Know. That's perfect. The mop is that like how the, the mop and bucket are right next to his Guess cell, what? just in case. He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. Here we go again. Here we go. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. There's Ask no away. way he wouldn't remember us. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. 
Well, it just so happens that we do have official business. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like Sorry. a cop. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? That'll work. Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now, that's hardly what... Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. Feel bad using that, but... It's 555-7641. Five, 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 yes! Gotta do what we gotta buddy. do, guys. Can we call again? From here? Make it look like police business. Wade residence. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. You but people? What? This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a hmm. stuck-up, overclass witch. Damn right, well, Kathy. She hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. Hmm. Now, how are we going to get a hold of Charles? We have another place to go to? No. I wonder if we can get into the files again to find out about that drowned girl. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? Assuming this guy has to vomit again? A jail cell. Hey. Hi there! Uh, sure. good to know- <laughs> This guy's just like a pu puking machine, isn't he? Guess- He's having- <sighs> Okay, let's check the files. Here we go again. Hmm, maybe there's something in here about that drowning. Nope, looks like I'm gonna need her name. Ugh. Anything? I got the key already. I don't... Oh, I wonder if we can... Various notices and... I wonder if we can fax... Maybe the photo to... That action doesn't seem productive to fax <laughs> machines. The pin pinnacle of modern technology, for sure. Hmm. Very search the desk. Might be something. Try calling again. to put a message in here but I'm not sure what I think I'll sleep on it and try to figure out something tomorrow That's a good idea does that mean that we can go back to the dorm room now I'm sure if there's anything else to do we've got to take a look at that photo somehow I think at the cemetery the rain residence the sheriff station still go back See if anything's changed. Oh, hello, dear. Hmm. 
Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know. Apparently, he can Any idea how to get- I'm afraid not to- Any particular- Oh. Okay, she's just repeating herself. Well, okay, guys. Well, Rams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. I'm gonna wrap up this episode here and try to figure out uh, where I'm supposed to go next. Um, I thought maybe this would be the end of the day, but I guess we have to find out more before the day ends so that we can get back to our dorm room and try to figure out how to look at that photo. So uh, for now, I'm gonna sign out. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and I love you all.